You never wanted to escape. I'd like nothing more. When I Just crawl back into your private little isolated no, hell and let's pretend that we were never friends. What do you know about family and relationships? As far as I'm aware, you have none. And you certainly don't know what it is to love a child. No, I'm sorry, I really must stay away from your son. Our son. Our son. You with your brilliant career and your empty life. Brilliance does have its sacrifices, I suppose. If brilliant means being like you, then I'll take mediocrity any day because I don't want to be an emotionless freak who takes pleasure in other people's lack of self-control. You know the Henrik Hansen I used to know? Cared about people. You are unwilling or incapable of engaging with anyone. You're terrified of life. For me, that's no not the life worth living. Every death in our care is a tragedy. We're never inured to it. Ever. My first day here, I saved his father, and I thought that I could see him in perfect symmetry. Now, he's a good man. He's a, he's a great doctor, he's an epic surgeon, he's the best CEO the hospital's ever had. He's also actually a man with a huge amount of integrity. I'm going to do what I should have done a long time ago. And I can't work out whether he's a goodie or a baddie. One of the good guys. He looks too unhappy to be a bad guy. Are you the BFG? You're doing so well. It's all going to be fine. It pains me to say this, but you're the best thing that ever happened to this hospital. Owen was right. You're definitely one of the good guys. Don't stop fighting, Mr. Hudson. With the strain already on his heart. Yes, I know the situation is dire, but that doesn't mean we should give up. I will not let this man die. Well, you are in an operating theatre, Darwin, and I am here. But you're not about to die. You took a hell of a risk in there. Worth it to give a man back his life, don't you think? I think Holby are very lucky to have him. Why would I want to come back? To a mediocre British hospital where there's no faith in my leadership. Because I don't want to work at a hospital that cares more about making money than treating patients. No, I think Christmas is for families, don't you? Cherish it while you can. The acute agony will diminish to be replaced by a dull ache, which will not go. That much I know. Mr. Hansen. We belong to a heart that we know always comes. And to be grander. But it's stronger than stones will never. It's high time I stopped being Mr. Hansen.